Welcome to Crusader Kings 2. We are in a war where we were uh, called in to uh, honor a favor and get a claim on uh, Armand. So uh, that's what we're trying to do. We are currently losing the war, war score wise, but uh, we have beaten their armies and whatnot, so we should win unless something strange happens. I hope. Uh, more raiders. Yeah, they have a free maneuver right now. Because our soldiers are busy. So she took the title that I gave to my vassal here. Really? You just made yourself stronger? That's annoying. Okay, they've completed that siege before we can complete ours. New Patriarch. Okay, come on, siege, get that. More raiders. Back then, should hopefully be quite fast. Just assault this and then go chase down this army. <coughs> As she's grown older, you can see that I don't know how to pronounce this name. Knathanad could use some guidance and some experienced areas. Our cousin. She deserves greatness. She might become ambitious, diligent, stressed, uh, patient. Ah, let's go with greatness. That should be fine. And you are going here, so chase you down. Basically balancing. Five percent. So just let that siege run all run its course. <coughs> uh, what do I actually need to make the Kingdom of Britannia? Are we even close, or is that just a thing? which became more and more intimidating with an outcome that could mean life or death. I swallowed hard and decided that I would run away or fight. Uh, I guess we're fighting. Uh, yeah, I was 
just gonna look at our kingdom here. To be sure. No, there's nothing there but Northumberland and Kingdom of England. Empire of Britannia. Two kingdom titles. Uh, 28%. Need to control 80%. So we are still a uh, far way off here. All right. I guess we'll have to get there slowly and eventually, at some point maybe. The siege needs another five ticks or something like that. <coughs> hey, you actually succeeded. Oh yeah, that's what what you did. That's what you did. All right. Good, good, good. Very good. You do that. Okay, we drag someone out of the prison here. Ransom you for 10 gold. Sure. Oh, we've got all sorts of people. Some going, all right. Uh, vacation foci, that's our daughter, and we got to thrift, I believe. Hmm. Let's just deal with the rest of the ransoms until the war has ended. Show something else. These guys over here, maybe. Another two ticks. Our cousin, she's become uh, great. She dislikes us a lot because she's my rival. Can get another prisoner. Our rival will just marry you off somewhere. Some faraway land. Can marry him to my son. No, no, no. Rank so lowborn somewhere. Like this weak guy here. some shenanigans from there. <coughs> One more tick and we'll go change them down. Jihad for Anatolia. Yet again. The great Shia Caliph. Shia, not Sunni. Alright, has decided to call a Jihad against the Kafirs in the Kingdom of Anatolia. He urges all righteous Shia Muslims to take up arms against the depraved Basilius Narciss of the Byzantine Empire for the glory of Islam. That's terrible news. Alright, we've gotten that sorted out, so you go here. Ishtrad, the maid of Lagan. My lady, there's a strange tidings from the province of Lagan. As our country suffers under the strains of war, a young woman has come forward and declared that the Lord has spoken to her and instructed her to deliver us from the enemies of our lands. She wears armor, wields sword, and rides with soldiers. Her name is Eshrad, Esh and she is said to be approaching your court at this very moment to offer her services to you as a leader in war. Surely this is an absurd notion that a young peasant woman should take the role of a mar marshal or general in the Queen's armies. 
Let's receive her and see what she can do. I think this is the, the John Mark uh, event. I've never actually ha had this happen to me. So uh, let's see what this uh, leads to. Okay, we have a vassal here. You inherit a barony. I am your heir. It's over there, alright, that's fine. Okay, this lady here arrives. Okay, she's a lowborn. She's trusting, brave, honest, chaste, zealous, celibate, and a brilliant strategist. I can make a commander, appoint to a commander. I'll do that. Good. title Oh revoke on title no no award on title Keeper of the Swans as well I guess <coughs> Alright I guess you will take command guy here. Alright. <coughs> Could maybe marry her to my son or something at some point. Her son is 10 and she was like 17. As the farmers prepare for sowing the spring crops, uh, it's the holy relic again. Uh, you do that. Use it to bless the land. Okay, fight. And she routes the army in the middle instantaneously almost. We got the Earl of Ormond in uh, jail. Alright, perfect. Go siege something, I don't know what. Maybe just this place. Darby has been converted to uh, the correct religion of uh, Orthodox. So let's go to the next uh, location. Let's get positions here. Go to say Leicester. Good. Echrad, the nobles react. My queen, the lords of the realms complain. They think most, they think it most unfitting and strange that a young maid of low birth is allowed such a promising, prominent position, when there are noble lords aplenty who are much more n well prepared and competent to lead your armies. Some of them are asking if you're doing this deliberately to insult them. There's also an issue of her claiming to be personally sent by God. It sounds rather heretical. No, no, let them own. I'm the queen. Uh, she'll be fine. And she's a woman, and I happen to be a queen and a woman as well, so uh, it's fine by me. They're trying to siege this back, alright. Aggression pact is ended. Okay. Uh, Etchrad and the Queen. One evening at court, Etchrad approaches you and asks to speak with you in private. You agree, and both of you sit down for a talk in your chambers. Etchrad speaks to you of her visions of Christ and her quest to save the country from the enemy. She speaks with passion, her simple honesty and forceful seal both coming across. Uh, she looks you in the eyes. She declares that her fierce loyalty and love for you is her chosen queen. You are quite impressed by her passion, intelligence and sincerity. 
Okay, I'll become sellers. Um, I'll become sellers as well. Seal. Echad looks at you with tears of joyous fervor in her eyes. My lady, you are the highest, the highest and also the wisest woman in all the realm. God shall guide you through, through me and the people shall be saved. With sword and of righteousness in my hand, guided by your wisdom, the will of God, we will be victorious. So shall it be. Sounds awesome. Okay, I uh, have 4.6. So this is pretty slow. Can I see the percentages here? Also 4.6. Okay, so we should win that. Win that race. And then go catch up to him. Alright, we have stuff to do here. Uh, one child needs education focus as our daughter. We got to thrift last, so it's duty. Next, I think. And uh, we can buy some military advances. Military organization, morale of armies, supply, and plus 600 retinue. I think that's the one we take first. And that's about it. So 21%. We might not get there before they've unseized this, but um, should be okay. Etrad and the common folk. The entire country is boiling with rumors and gossip of Etrad, Ech the humble country girl who rose to become a trusted servant of the queen. Hope of defeating the realm's enemies is blossoming, and peasants everywhere are celebrating this fantastic tale of a virgin savior from the humblest ranks of society. Um, all right, the revolt risk uh, goes down. Fantastic, I guess. Okay, we're taking this, so let's go chase them down. See if we can get there before they uh, succeed under siege. I'm not sure we will do so, I doubt we will do so actually. More tech points. Good, and something else was done. And Lester has converted to the Orthodox Fate. Let's just do the battle first. There. And victorious. Alright. And took someone else into the jail. Alright, excellent. So now this is culture advances, legalism. This will give us what? Unlocks decisions not available to our character. Tolerance. Culture, different religion penalty, monthly piety, short reign, temple vassal opinion, city vassal opinion, feudal. So I guess we'll go with tolerance. And we can't buy anything else right now, so that'll be that. And we just siege this down, I guess. And what do we have here? Oh, impressed, yeah. Can someone build a new castle here? Die of Kidderminster. Increase the speed. Uh, let's just have a look at our known plots. Anything against me? Fabricating claims still. Trusses noobs and sneaks will keep a close eye on the activities of the sky. Indeed. Alright, I am pregnant yet again. Okay, we'll use this claim as well. More raiders. And where will you go to fabricate a claim next? I think we'll go here. With that, I will end this episode. Thank you.
Thank you very much for watching.